Hi, first graders. Mrs. Johnson here. I hope you're having a great day. We are going to read um, a decodable reader today called A Proud Brown Ant. So you have the story, A Proud Brown Ant. And before we start, this week we're working on the O U and the O W sound, and they both say ow. So we're going to be looking for some words in our story that have that ow sound. And before we start the story, I'm going to put this in full screen. I want you to look at the cover of the page and I want you to think, what is the ant in the middle holding? So here's the ant in the middle. What is the ant in the middle holding? And which ant do you think is proud and why? Proud means something that you, you did on your own, you did all by yourself, and you think to yourself, I am so proud that I could do that. This week, we're also working on sequence of events, what happens first, next, then, and last. So after we read the story, you might want to retell it to a family member or to a stuffed animal or anyone that's around your house. And you might want to use those transitional words, first, then, next, and last, to retell a proud brown ant. Now, this is a little bit longer story this time, so we're going to read it one time. So right now, I'd like you to um, make sure you have your proud brown ant decodable reader. And I also want you to find um, a pencil, a crayon, a marker, something that you can use to highlight some of our words with. So I'm going to um, grab something to do mine with. And then we're going to go back into full screen. So make sure you have your decodable reader and a crayon or a marker or a pencil or something that you can have to, to highlight or underline our O-U-O-W owl words. So a proud, I hear one right here, a proud brown ant. A little brown ant had a very big family. The ant seemed the same, but the little brown ant was just a bit smaller than the rest. When it gets cold in most places, ants gather food to be ready for the winter. So all the ants set out fast. The little brown ant was left alone. Wait for me, she shouted, but no one heard a sound. When the little brown ant met up with the rest, they were already on their way back home. The little brown ant frowned. All the food is gone now. How will I eat? The ant sat down to rest. She saw something on the ground. There are a lot on that page. The ant got closer. Great, she cried loudly. It's a big, beautiful hunk of sweet cake. How will I get it home from here? I am much too small. The ant asked the animals she met for help. Each one told her no. I will not help. Well, hmm, pouted the ant, then I'll have to do it myself. Crouching down, she lifted the cake up onto her head. Step by step, the ant made it home. The cake would last all winter. The ant had never felt so proud. Good job, first graders. So those were our O-U and O-W, our ow sounds. Remember, this week we're also working on sequence of events, transitional words, first, next, then, and last. So maybe if you have time today, you might want to find someone to read the story to and then retell it using those transitional words, first, next, then, and last. Have a great rest of your day. See you next time, first graders.